see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Yuck. I don't need that. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Just water. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Looks like they expected to be here a while.
Jesus, there's a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. The hell? Don't you fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy. Then shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Enough! Y'all wave them guns like you're like... Shit! What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. She stole Clementine's hat. Somehow she got past us. Crazy fucking women must have been inches away from that child. I just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. 
and thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hello. You really like that gun. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know... <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Gas keeps the generators going and the generators keep the fence going. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? 
What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. You guys having fun? Uh-huh. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid, Kenny. Stupid? Stupid? Nice one, Lee. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? 
You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. What's your genius idea, Professor? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's a feeding trough. Just some fence posts. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. How are the kids? They're doing okay. The St. John's have been very friendly to them. But if something happens and you've got to choose between the kids or them, don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Gotcha. Andy will be back any minute. Please hurry. False alarm. I'm back. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. There's a baby in there? Careful, don't spook her. Hey, Clementine. My hat! You found it! You knew I needed it. Well, you did tell me it was a birthday present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No, 
Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just... Uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then... Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. a small toolbox. A multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Access panel. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. Looks like that belt's driving the, uh, whatchamacallit? Um. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. Power switch. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. 
I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off! Pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Danny's baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. High school diploma. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Danny's baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. This must be Terry. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Some kind of lotion. I could use a shave. Gauze pads.
need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Is that blood? man did you find something oh sit your ass down lee this lady has made you a meal yeah lee what's gotten into you he just had a start he could use some goddamn manners you're eating human meat that's crazy what the hell? ridiculous okay. uh, scaring the kids lee lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him lily there's always something with this guy Mom, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. The, what the fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Don't go near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! <gasps> Lee? 
of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Please. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off Ugh. and make you swallow Don't wanna know what kind. Come on! Try yourself! Shelves are pretty sturdy. Oh, we could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. On the way. Let us out now. Don't Do give up. Live? We're gonna find no, a way out of help. here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking apocalypse Could there be a hole the behind right these pallets? No such luck. Dad. This isn't helping! Inbred bastards! Salt blinks. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, 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 Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? <laughs> no! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could, believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Kenny, listen! Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bitten. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. I know we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but come on, Lee! You gotta step up for me this time. I need to know you're with me on this! God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at Dude. risk, you son of a bitch! You're fucking worthless, Breathe. Lee. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. 
What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. I don't wanna hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we wanna survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him, that's all. I'm sorry, Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> there ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off, if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Not coming off that way. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do.
Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Me. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Go quickly. I'm scared. You'll be fine as long as you move fast enough. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. human slaughterhouse. wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. 
Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards, all of them. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Well, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. I'm What's he doing out there? Keep that I don't know. And not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one. We'll take him out together. Not to kill. He doesn't you know, know where I would trade. He's gotta walk past us to get to the lead locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. So See I what know. he's doing now. This is my Lee, favorite focus. part, too. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even What's he doing? Down. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. See what he is now. What do you see? I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I seen you do it. Just like you killed that woman in the camp. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. Where's that coming from? Doug? Ah! Doug! Doug! 
hell was that? Morse code. You almost blinded me. Oh, sorry about that, but I did get your attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Go, Brenda! Please! Please, don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now! You know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! his dairy turned into a, a slaughterhouse. A killer, Lee. family was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just stop! Brenda, please. I don't want to kill you, Lee! This, this dairy was your pride. Look what you've done to it! Thank you all. Look at what you've done. You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Get up! Get the fuck up! Uh, 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 uh. 
Jesus, Lee. Come on, let's go. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> Said it's over. Just walk away. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. Get back here and finish this, Lee. Back here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee! Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't... See her. I stopped her. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lots cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second.
There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them. By making sure Larry didn't kill us. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, Walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. Well, what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? Any electronics? Radios? Batteries? Here. <laughs> got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Sweetheart, 
We won't let them bandits get you where we are. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I oh, find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who do... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases you. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get them out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, all right? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! 